I remember vividly my last day in Grolier Hall. I lived there for four years. It should have been the most exciting day of my life. There were so many things that I could choose to do, but I was afraid. I was afraid to leave the building. I was 15 years old when I entered residential school. From the time we woke up, we had a very strict schedule. This is KISS 91.7. When you live in a residence with 24-hour security and you check in continuously, it's hard to understand what's normal. I kept a diary and wrote articles for the local newspaper. In one article I wrote, We now have six supervisors who work days and rotate working nights. This way we have 24-hour supervision, which is to the benefit of the students. If a student is not feeling well or upset during the night, they now have someone to turn to. Residential schools separated Indigenous children from their parents, families and communities. I was the last one in my family to attend. I am glad my children never had to go. I have provided my daughter with a secure and loving home. I have been there to support and encourage her. I have taught her to be a confident Inuvialuk. She will not be afraid as she graduates and goes out into the world on her own.